What is going on guys? It is your boy Null and I'm going to show you how to make uh, this trigger bot right here for CSGO That's going to be external <sighs> Let's get right into it. Today we're doing the trigger bot um, The next episode will be the glow ESP which you probably saw in that preview clip at the start And then after that I'll probably do aimbot because a lot of people want aimbot as well so um First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a function for the trigger bot. Um, also, if you if this is the first episode that you're watching and you have no idea what's going on, um, please watch part one. I'm using my base, my external. Fuck. So if this is the first part that you're seeing in the um, external series, um, please watch uh, part one uh, where I did the B up. Um, in that one, I show. If this is the first episode that you're watching in this um, series, please watch part one because in that one I show where you find this base. It's my um, external game hack base. Uh, it's on GitHub. I'll sh I sh in that episode, this is my external game hack base. And in that, first thing I'm doing here is I'm just making a function uh, called trigger for the actual trigger bot. And let's just start coding it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get the um, crosshair ID of the local player. So the way you do that in my base, you just say local player and then um, get local cross ID, right? And that's it. Just like that, you have the um, crosshair ID of your local player. Basically how this function works is if it's, uh, if the crosshair ID is valid, so if it's between like zero and 32, then it returns the actual uh, ID. Otherwise, it'll just return negative one. So if we're like looking at the ground or looking at a wall, it'll return negative one. So we're gonna do a check um, to see if it's a valid ID. Um, and if it's not, then we will just not continue the function. So I'm gonna say if x hair is greater than negative one, okay? So if it's valid, then we're gonna continue. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna make a new variable here. <laughs> My God, I'm gonna make a new variable here. I'm gonna call it in cross, and this is going to store the entity that we're aiming at. Okay, so I'm gonna say get base. I'm gonna put x here minus one. Okay. The reason you have to do minus one here is because uh, that's how you get the correct index of the entity you're aiming at. Okay, if you don't put the minus one there It's gonna give you another entity. Okay that you're not aiming at. We can now check if it's an enemy So I'm gonna say entity fuck um, Yeah So I'm just gonna say <laughs> uh, Entity Get and team Right, and then I'm gonna say in cross. Okay, I'm gonna pass that into there, and I'm gonna say if that's not equal to the local player team, which is our team, so if they're not equal, which means if that's an enemy, then we want to shoot. And the way I'm gonna shoot is you can do this by um, writing process memory. But I'd rather do it just by uh, simulating a mouse click because it's um, less detection vectors. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to say left down to simulate uh, the mouse left click thing. And then I'm going to sleep a bit. I'm going to say 25 milliseconds just so that like we can get one or two shots off or something. Depends what gun we're using. And then I'm going to say left up, okay? Because we want to lift up the left click. We don't want to just keep holding it down and shoot forever. So uh, that's pretty much it for the function. What is the crosshair ID? It's just the ID of the entity that you're aiming at. And if you're not aiming at an entity, this is going to return negative one, okay? Um, if our crosshair is greater than negative one, so if we're aiming at an uh, entity, then we get the entity base and then we check if it's an enemy and if it is then we're just going to shoot by left clicking so i'm going to just call fuck i'm just going to call the function uh in the loop here uh this is 
made in um, part one, so go watch that, or you can just copy the code right here if you um, already know what this does. Um, see, so yeah, I'm just going to call the function and I'm going to see if it works, hopefully. Okay, let's see if it works. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, if you got any value from this video or if you learned something, please like the video and also subscribe. Um, at 1000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing an internal series where I'm going to show you how to make Behop, Triggerbot, uh, Glow ESP, and Aimbot um, internally, probably with like some base or something.